The United States Forest Service has a research branch that's organized into five different geographic centers. The Southern Research Station covers the 13 states in the southeastern corner of the country. We study a wide range of forest-related issues from social science-related issues and economics to invasive species, forest diseases and insect outbreaks to the fire side, particularly in the area of prescribed fire. So putting fire on the landscape with the intention to accomplish resource objectives. So fire has been this formative ecological process throughout the history of terrestrial ecosystems. However, over the past 100 years or so, our perspective on fire is that it's destructive and that it needs to be eliminated. But fire has structured a lot of these ecosystems around the planet repetitive fire, and we need to harness that energy to maintain those ecosystems. So our work really focuses on understanding the mechanisms on how fire does its work and how we can best manage it so we get optimal outcomes. The Southern Research Station is, is quite diverse in terms of what type of research that it actually entails. I mean, you know, it covers the entire southeastern seaboard of, um, of the United States in terms of research ecologists and, you know, managers that, that we work with. And so we, we cover all kinds of things, anything from invasive species to, you know, wildfire work and anything from, you know, silviculture to water quality, ecosystem carbon dynamics. It's a really large research station that, that covers a, a lot of really interesting topics associated with forestry. We do a lot of research to help inform those who use fire to achieve these resource management objectives. You know, when's the best time? What's the best way? What are the best conditions to get the best results? And also to mitigate anything like smoke or potential risk of escape. So prescribed fire is a very intentional act and we try to focus on the science to help make sure that the outcome of that intentional ign ignition is, is optimal. A lot of the work in the area of fire modeling has focused on how we model wildfires. We rarely do a prescribed fire where we light one spot and let the fire spread. We light multiple ignitions in different patterns, and those different patterns influence the intensity of the fire. And so one of the advancements in modeling that we've been working on is the coupling of the fire to the atmosphere so we can get how these different ignitions interact. With the advances in technology, such as the terrestrial laser scanning, or TLS, we can now get a three-dimensional representation of the forest. TLS, or terrestrial laser scanning, a lot of people think of it also as terrestrial LIDAR. It's a laser. That, uh, that shoots out light pulses very quickly and it basically acts the same way as sonar does. And so instead of sound waves coming back to the instrument, it's light waves that are coming back to the instrument. And from that instrument, it collects a three-dimensional structure of the surrounding area. So when we go out and do TLS monitoring, we want to look at how prescribed fire has altered the landscape and how it's maybe reduced some fuels that could be hazardous to the forested environment. Like, if those fuels were to build up before the fire, they could potentially be detrimental in a wildfire situation. But when we safely reduce the fuels with a prescribed fire, we want to show how effective that management treatment is. So we can do that showing the conditions before the fire and after with a device like TLS that accurately and consistently quantifies it. And so I have been working with collaborators all over the country and across different agencies, so associated with the Forest Service, uh, Fish and Wildlife Service, Department of Defense, U.S. Geological Survey, National Park Service, to use this technology that's now literally at our fingertips to monitor our ecosystems. Over the last few years, with all the significant wildfires that we've had in the western United States, the Forest Service developed this wildfire crisis strategy to respond to this increasing crisis. And a large piece of that response is prescribed fire. It's acknowledging the role that these forests are going to burn, and they're either going to burn on nature's schedule or on ours. And when they burn on our schedule, we have an element of control to limit 
the potential intensity of the fire. So prescribed fire is a major tool in our strategy to combat these increasingly intense wildfires. The southeastern United States has a leadership role in prescribed fire. We have the longest records in the United States of doing prescribed fire on a consistent basis across the landscape. And so we can provide and share some of our technologies and leadership with the rest of the country to try to help advance prescribed fire so that hopefully they can learn at a faster rate than we did to get to where we were. Hopefully we can accelerate the process for them.